back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Courtney, and I want to start off by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. I'm posting this on Friday, which is Christmas Eve, and I hope that you are all enjoying a wonderful, fun, happy, and safe time with your friends and family this holiday season. So Fridays are always grocery hauls on my channel, and Christmas Eve is no exception. I have a smaller than usual grocery haul to share with you guys. Normally, I will hit more than one store this week. That just isn't the way it worked out. I actually um, had to run out multiple times this week for little things to finish getting gifts and all that kind of stuff together. So I had actually already picked up a few little clearance things here and there. So I just got our regular grocery order from HEB. Uh, if you've watched my past few grocery hauls, you know I've really struggled with Walmart the last few weeks. They're super busy. The curbside has been really late. Um, they actually just kind of forgot my order one time. It's just been a nightmare. So I thought, well, I'm going to save myself the trouble. I'll pay a little more for it, but I'll get better service if I just go to HEB, which is what I did. Um, the, everything was ready promptly and on time. They had almost all of my stuff. The only thing that they were sold out of was cubed ham, which I had ordered for potato soup. So anyway, I will cover that in the meal plan at the end of this video. For now, I will go ahead and share all the groceries that I got with you guys. And as usual, I will pop the prices up on the screen so you can see what I paid. In case you're wondering, I do live down in Texas if you're comparing prices or anything like that. All right, let's jump right into the haul. All right, guys, this is it. This is the H-E-B grocery haul for this week. As you can see, it's all laid out on the counter. Decent amount of stuff, not too bad. We'll start down here on the floor just because that's what I always do. Um, first off, I did get cat litter. I got a really big one this time. They were sold out of a lot of stuff, and this was the best buy. So I went ahead and picked that up. It is 40 pounds, so that should last a while. And I also got some cat litter deodorizer because we were almost out. I love this stuff. It just really helps if you have cats. I also got the cat's food because you got to feed them. This is what I typically buy, so I just ordered some more. And then I got the dog's food because they were also running pretty low. I always buy the same thing for them, always grain-free. And um, Kiba, our husky, really likes the salmon, so I've been getting that flavor lately. All right, let's take a look at all this stuff up here on the counter. Uh, pepper bacon, I was going to do some breakfast burritos this weekend. We'll enjoy them probably Sunday morning and then... My husband and my oldest can eat on them for breakfast throughout the week. To go with the pepper bacon, I also got chorizo. I will probably do bacon, chorizo, egg, potato burritos. That's what I do a lot. We call them epic breakfast burritos. But that is probably what I will throw together. Back here, I did get some Texas pecan coffee. These are the little pods. This is our favorite flavor. They make it at HEB. This is their brand, and it is fantastic. Back here I do have some milk. We have regular fat-free milk, or low-fat milk for my oldest. He likes just regular dairy milk. Then I had ordered coconut milk and they stepped me almond milk. I didn't have any coconut milk at home or anything, so I just went ahead and took it because I needed something to drink. Then I got some heavy cream for all the baking and mashed potatoes and all that sort of stuff that I will be doing this weekend. I got some coconut flakes. Again, more baking going on. The baking will continue going on until after New Year's. I just have to get through New Year's and then you know, I kind of slow down a little bit on the cooking. I got some crushed pineapple. This is for a little salad I'm going to be making. Um, it's like a fruit salad. I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, but it's so delicious, and I will be sharing it on my channel. I got some nutmeg just because we were almost out and I needed more. Mozzarella cheese so that I can make some homemade pizza. Uh, also, pepperoni for the homemade pizza. And then if you watch my grocery hauls, you know that I always get this if I go to the other HEB, and that's where I was. So I ordered some more of this horseradish cheddar. It is my absolute favorite. We needed some tomatoes, so I got these Campari tomatoes. They're actually really, really good. They have such a great flavor. I got these sweet little mini peppers. They're for the pizza and for snacking. I love these. They are so delicious. Back here, again, more baking, guys. I got some walnuts. Um, I think this is my last haul that has a bunch of like baking stuff in it. I'm not a baker. Just It's just something I do for the holidays. So after this, you probably won't see a lot of baked good stuff from me. Um, I got some hot fudge just because I like ice cream with hot fudge and I didn't have any and I didn't want to have to go buy any at like Baskin Robbins or anything. So I just got my own hot fudge and two types of ice cream. I got cherry pistachio and triple chocolate. Uh, they're both the Swoon brand, which is an H-E-B brand. It's really, really good ice cream. H-E-B makes really good ice cream. Back here I got some more Pop-Tarts for my kids. Um, everybody's home, everybody's eating, and, and my son's out of college. My oldest son is out of college right now, so he's home a lot more. I feel like we're just kind of blowing through the snacky foods. 
I picked up some pepperoncinis. Um, they're really great for Mississippi pot roast. And I do have a pork roast in my deep freeze that I have been eyeing for some Mississippi pot roast. So we'll probably be using that soon. I went ahead and got black eyed peas. Um, it's just a week from New Year's and I didn't want to not have any. I don't know if everybody does that, but it's uh, like a tradition, you know, you eat some at the New Year for good luck. And sometimes they are super hard to find. So I did go ahead and order them this week so that I wouldn't be caught without any. Back here I've got some ridged potato chips. Um, I wanted the wavy ones, that's what Cam likes, but they were sold out so they subbed ribs, ridged and that's okay. Uh, they actually had a deal going, which will make more sense in a minute. Let's see. If I bought so much in potato chip and bread products, then I got free paper towels. And I needed to get these, and then I got some. I wanted to get some more cheese balls for my kids. And I needed to get tortillas and two loaves of bread. So I also picked up these waffle cut sweet Thai chili chips for my oldest, because I know he's going to love them. And then I picked up these sub rolls right here for sandwiches. I also picked up the tortillas that were part of the deal. Um, and then two loaves of bread. And because I bought all of that stuff, I got paper towels for free. And I need a paper towel. So it's only two rolls, but still, they were free. So I took it because I was already buying most of that stuff anyway. So it was a really good purchase for me. Uh, down here, I've got some frozen egg noodles. They are for, I was going to do chicken and gravy and serve them with egg noodles. Powdered sugar, because baking. <laughs> Alright, so here we go with some cookies. Now, I did not go nuts. I promise these all came for free. So the sugar wafers I got for free because I ordered the low fat regular milk. These I got for free because I ordered the almond milk. And then underneath them I have the HEB brand of Oreos. They're called Twisters. And I got these for free because I ordered that coffee right there. So all of the cookies were absolutely free for me. It was a really good deal, and they're all good cookies. We're going to enjoy them quite a bit. All right, back here I have two of these uh, chocolate melting wafers. So my oldest son loves peanut butter balls. I think some parts of the country call them Buckeyes. I, I don't know. I made them once or twice, but they're a lot of work, and he makes them now because he loves them so much, and I don't want to make them. So I got him these because if I bought these two together, it was like $3 off. And then I needed some more rice wine vinegar. I put this in my rice every time I make it, and I have enough for maybe one more pot of rice. I got these for my pizza because I like a lot of veggies and olives on my pizza. These are Spanish olives, but they are marinated in vermouth. They are delicious. If you have not tried these, you've got to. So, so good. I got this Lysol laundry sanitizer. I was going to get the smaller bottle because this stuff's kind of expensive, but there was a coupon, so I went ahead and got the big one. I did get some lunch meat. My husband will be taking sandwiches for lunch next week, so I just got this big pack that has turkey and ham. And to go with it, I got a lot of cheeses. I got two of these mild cheddar because um, he likes that, and then I needed some here at the house. And I also got some Swiss for sandwiches here at the house as well. I got some baking mix because I am completely and totally out, and I needed some. My kids love to snack on Cheez-It, so I went ahead and got some more of these Cheez-It Extra Cheesy. I got some lettuce, salad, sandwiches, all that kind of stuff. I got two heads of cauliflower because it's my favorite. I love to roast this. I will probably serve it with something on the side, but if I don't, I will just roast this and eat it for lunch because I love it so much. And then finally, I got some more creamy peanut butter because I used a bunch of it when I was doing my no-bake cookies. And then my son wants to do the peanut butter balls, and then my youngest son, Jensen, likes to eat peanut butter sandwiches, so we were just blowing right through it. So I did get one more really big container this time, and that should last us a while. That's it. That is my grocery haul for this week. All right, guys, so that covers the groceries. Like I said, I only made one stop today. Um, it was a pretty decent amount of stuff. Lots of fun snacks and things like that because I really already had all of our um, holiday stuff ready to go because I was so afraid they were going to sell out. I had purchased it over the last few weeks. But let me do the meal plan with you guys real quick. So um, this weekend, which is Christmas, Saturday, we are going to have the traditional turkey dinner. It's just myself, my husband, and our three children. Uh, one of them is down here. You can't see him. But uh, anyway, we're just going to make traditional turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, dressing, uh, probably some green bean casserole. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make some homemade cranberry sauce because I do have homemade cranberries. I'm really excited about that. So we'll probably eat on that Saturday and on Sunday. But if there's not as much as I think or we're kind of bored with it, I have some steaks in the freezer. So I can always pop those out and thaw them and we will have steak with probably like cauliflower or something on the side. Um, I had originally planned to make potato soup next week, 
but like I mentioned earlier, I couldn't get the cubed ham and nobody had it. So um, my recipe that I use that my husband adores calls for ham and he does not like it with bacon. So either uh, if I have to pop into a grocery store for something, I will see if they have it later, you know, a few days from now, or I'll just save it for another week. Not a big deal. I also plan to make chicken and gravy, which is a really simple crock pot recipe. Chicken with uh, some canned soups and you just let it simmer all day and shred it. Typically, I serve it over rice, but this time I'm going to serve it over those frozen egg noodles. I've seen that on Pinterest, and it looks so delicious. Uh, right now, you know, the weather's cooler, and it's winter, and I'm kind of looking for wintery kind of food, and that just really fit the bill. And then, finally, uh, pizza. I felt like making some homemade pizza, so I got the ingredients for it. I was only going to do a small amount of pizza, but since I couldn't get the potato soup, I might go ahead and do large pizzas. I usually do, like, three different pizzas because we all like different things. So I might just make them bigger. We'll see. But that is the meal plan for next week, and I think that'll get us through just fine, so we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching, and thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love to, you know, chat with you guys and say hi and all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you really soon with another one. Bye.